The search for New Mexico State University's new president may soon come to an end. This week, the university is holding public forums where the community and students can meet each of the four finalists. Diana Castillo joins us live now from the university. And Diana, this presidential election has been a long time coming. Estela, that's right. Now, NMSU has not had a permanent president since John Floto stepped down back in 2022. Now, since then, the university has had interim presidents, two of them to be exact. But now with four finalists, there is hope that that revolving door will finally close. After a nationwide search for NMSU's next president, the university landed on five finalists. Valerio Ferme, Brian Haynes, Monica Lounsbury, Neil McKinnon and Arsenio Romero. But recently, McKinnon withdrew consideration after landing another job. So now it's down to four. And without any further um, delay, I would like to introduce and have you help me warmly welcome our next uh, candidate for president here, Monica Lounsbury. This week, the university is holding public forums where faculty, staff, students, and community members can meet and ask questions of each finalist. On Thursday, it was Monica Lounsbury's turn. She currently serves as the Dean of the College of Health and Human Services at California State University in Long Beach. We were there during the students forum where questions regarding campus diversity, scholarship opportunities, tuition and more were asked. I think the incredible investment of the public in this institution and I think the work that, that this institution can do through the research enterprise has a shot to really diversify the economy, build a stronger New Mexico, address some of the pressing problems the people of New Mexico have and I, I think really sky's the limit for what can be accomplished here. And Monica Lansbury already had the chance to talk with faculty and staff and of course students and in just a couple of minutes at 530 she'll have the chance to speak with community members. Now tomorrow the last finalists will be able to do the same. Reporting in Las Cruces, Diana Castillo, KTSM 9 News. Okay Diana, thank you. And we have more information on all the candidates for NMSU president on our website KTSM.com. <laughs>